As an end user, um, you may receive a special link from your administrator that provides you with a special web page that you can go to to enable multi-factor authentication. Or um, when you just go to portal.office.com, as you regularly would, you may receive uh, a prompt to finish setting up multi-factor authentication. So over in my demo tenant, I'm gonna log in as one of these accounts that I have enabled multi-factor authentication so that you can see what those prompts are gonna look like. So I'm logging in with the username and password. You'll see at the next step, instead of letting me into my account, it's gonna tell me that more information is required. So we wanna say next. It's going to ask for additional security verification. We highly recommend using the mobile app method. Um, the mobile app is uh, a more secure method of providing multi-factor authentication. Uh, it ties your login to your mobile phone. Um, and using the mobile app for authentication also allows you to use the Microsoft Authenticator, which will provide you with push notifications, which makes the logging in process more streamlined and easier to use. So once you get to this step, we want to use the mobile app and uh, I recommend the option for receive notifications for verification. That's gonna provide you with those uh, push notifications to the phone whenever you log into your account. And then once we say set up, the next few steps you would perform on your phone. So. From your phone, right. from your phone, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the App Store, and in the App Store, search for Microsoft Authenticator. You'll see it's very popular. It may be one of the first things that shows up there. We can uh, skip the uh, the ad and just find the Microsoft Authenticator and download to install that app on your phone. So you'll find that app uh, on your phone. So I'm going to just go open the app now. It's going to ask you if you want to send notifications. You do want to receive notifications. So you want to say allow there. Um, it's going to give you this warning about non-personally identifiable use, usage data. Just say okay there. And then I recommend just skipping the three things that it asks you for here so that we can go to this screen and just select the add account button. It's gonna ask you what type of account. We're gonna use a work or school account because we're using an Office 365 account. And then it's gonna provide you with this prompt for authenticator would like access to the camera. You say okay. And then you just take that and point it at that barcode that appeared on your screen. And when you do that, it's going to automatically add that account to your phone so that from now on, uh, your phone will be used for uh, multi-factor authentication uh, for your login. So back in the browser now, we're gonna say next. And as soon as we say next, now it's going to send a prompt to our phone. So. We can see we get the option to approve sign-in, and this is the type of uh, prompt that you're gonna receive. So uh, whenever you're logging into your account, you're gonna get a prompt on your phone whether or not you want to approve that login to occur. So here I'm gonna say approve. We see that little flag that pops up that says approved on the phone. And then back in the browser, we can see that it's logged me into my account. So. It also asks you uh, to provide a phone number in case you lose access to the mobile app. Uh, so for example, if the app gets deleted accidentally or uh, if the account was deleted out of your app accidentally or theoretically if your phone got lost. Um, if your phone got lost and you replaced your phone, so you have your phone number coming to a new phone now, that's where this would be most useful. So. Just as an example, I'm going to just add my own phone number. And after providing that second phone number, it provides me with what's called an app password. This is a special password that we can use 
for applications that do not perform uh, two-factor authentication. So if an application doesn't have the ability to um, to log in using multi-factor authentication, then this password is a password that you can use to still uh, use that software to access your 365 account. So that may be like for sending email over SMTP or something of that nature. Please bear in mind that this is the only time that it's going to show you this app password. You can't go find it later on. So you may want to go ahead and copy it and put it into uh, your preferred password manager. Uh, or later on, you can go add additional uh, app passwords if need be. So now we're going to say done. And that's it. That's all an end user needs to do to uh, set up their account for uh, multi-factor authentication in Office 365. Okay, from now on, when that user goes to log in to Office 365, uh, depending on a couple of factors, you know, they may get prompted for uh, the multi-factor authentication. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you logging in with that account. And let me get the password. And sign in. You'll see I get this option to approve sign in request and I got a little pop up on my phone. So if I long press that notification, then I just have the option to approve the login. And then it lets me into my account. So, and yes, I want to stay signed in. And that's it.